rising tribe welcome to a new video here on the raising wellness channel i have created a blog concerning this specific topic but i want you guys to understand that this is a part of my healing journey it is a part of what has brought me to this space here today if you guys have been watching my videos since my first couple of posts about how I've dealt with depression and anxiety. I just want to thank you for tuning in and tapping in to watching this life unfold and this journey unfold. And I hope that it has brought some insight into your life and allowed you to start using these tools that I have used on my journey to help benefit and create the life that you really are aspiring to live and be. And so I want to do uh, this video kind of, you know, very personal and intimate so that you can see the power in this one tool that has changed my life and I hope that it will help you on your journey. So this tool is something that is kind of a hot word right now. It's kind of a, a trend that's going on, but I want you to understand that there's true power behind it, true science behind it. There's my experience behind it that I'm going to share with you that is so real and raw, and I hope that it will set an example for you to understand the true potential behind this word that's hot right now or is a trend right now. And this word is gratitude. Finding gratitude for the everything in your life and starting first with a grateful heart. And I know that seems very cliche to say and it's a hot word and a trend right now, but I wanna give you a little bit of a background story um, so that you can understand where I'm coming from and my past with depression, severe depression, suicidal thoughts, anxiety, and how this one word has truly helped to change my entire life and worldview and and how I approach the world and am in the world. And where I was before was dark and I had a lot of grief dealing with the passing of my father that I never, never dealt with. And he passed away from depression and suicide. So when I found myself in this place again, I was, or in this place myself, I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I felt lonely. I didn't know who to talk to. Honestly, YouTube was my huge thing that helped me a lot to figure out where to go and to figure out, you know, what may work for me. And I, I used to, I joke around with people now that my hot my hobbies then were you know laying in bed and not showering. I was so sad and depressed and just very overwhelmed with life. I felt like the world was against me, and because I was harboring these feelings of grief already, everything that I felt was hard in the world just piled and piled and piled on top of it to the point where I I couldn't deal with it anymore, and I just laid in bed. It was hard for me to get up and go to work, and so I started a seven-day gratitude challenge for myself to see just to see how it worked and to see if it worked for me. And before this, when I was at work, I was a manager in a juice, like a cold pressed juice kitchen. And I worked in the kitchen every day, 6 a.m. to 2 to 3. And I always had so much anxiety and so much suffering. When we would joke in the kitchen, my, my laugh would turn to tears almost immediately because I was so emotionally distraught and so so sad and depressed and just every shift that I had, I would have to go into the bathroom, shut the lights off, sit on the ground in a corner for like 10 minutes so that I could just, you know, understand the feelings that I was having and the emotions and the depression and the sadness and the hopelessness and the loneliness and just kind of let it all settle and sink back into me. And that just, you know, built and built and built and it, it became so much and so heavy that I, I didn't know what to do. I was lashing out at people. I was angry. My boyfriend and I were in a really horrible place where I was never 
nice to him. I wasn't nice to myself. I wasn't feeling good. I wasn't able to have fun experiences with him. I wasn't able to do that or socialize with friends because I was so stuck here and so stagnant with all this depression and emotions and gratitude was my way out. It was my place to start finding the good in the world again. And that's what I hope it can do for you as well. Finding gratitude for everything that you possibly can to lift any sadness or grief out of your body and to start replacing it with moments of gratitude. And I wanna share with you my experience with the seven day challenge. I have created a seven day challenge for you guys. There's a PDF linked below if you wanna do that. It's totally free so that you can get started on this. But I want my experience to be an example for you to see the truth in it and the potential in it to help change your life and manifest the reality that you want. And so I was doing this seven day challenge and I was writing down five things a day that I was grateful for. A lot of times that was my bed because that is what I was so grateful for at the time, but I never, you know, thought about it that way before. I never, you know, thought of my bed as something to be grateful for. It's just something that was there, right? And so I started to write down, I'm grateful for my bed. I am grateful for my dog. I am grateful for my job and the money that I get from that from there. And it felt so fake. Um, it felt so not real. And it was really hard for me to, you know, feel those feelings. But after doing it for a couple of days, I started feeling those feelings of gratitude for those having those actual things and being able to have them in my life and have them do something for me. And then I was, this is my experience with how I saw it shift. About the fourth day, I was in the kitchen, again, as working in the cold press juice kitchen as a manager. And I was getting so frustrated with everyone in the kitchen because I was frustrated internally with myself. And I was getting mad about how slow we were going, um, that this thing was broken, this wasn't working, this person was doing this wrong. and. Like I said, it's, it was a reflection of my internal space. I'm not mad at those people at all. I love all of them so much. But when I saw that happening, I was able to objectively look at where my mind was, where my thoughts were and what they were doing to my emotional state in that moment. And I was like, okay, I see that. What can I be grateful for right now? What is one thing that I can find gratitude for? And I looked over at the person working like the really big machine that we have. It's like a cold press juicer, but a commercial sized one. And I was like, I'm so grateful that he is on that machine right now because he works so well there. And that opened up like a snowball effect of me being able to find gratitude for another person or another thing that was happening. And rather than focusing on the things that were going wrong, I started focusing on the things that were going right and it changed my entire day. I didn't have to go sit in that bathroom with the lights off and feel those feelings of loneliness and sadness because I had brought gratitude in and allowed it to fill that space instead of filling it with those negative emotions and those ungrateful emotions I had been having for years. And that was the huge turning point for me to be able to, whenever I felt like I was having a bad day, turn it around in an instant. And gratitude works because it is actually, it's hard, but it works because it's creating new neural pathways in your brain. You walk these neural pathways every single day with the habits of your thoughts walking that trail, carving it out, and a lot of times those negative depressive thoughts become such a beautiful, well-trekked path that it's so hard to begin walking another path that you have to, you know, machete all the things away, cut the trees down, build the path, and walk it and trek it. But once you practice gratitude and you practice it consistently, daily, writing five things down in your journal, you will begin to see that new path become easier and easier to walk. And soon that old path will become overgrown and forgotten about. 
So it just takes practice and consistency. And if you guys wanna check out some of the science behind this, I have the blog post that I wrote about this um, gratitude, about how important it is, linked down below in for my website so that you guys can see some science that's behind it, see the actual benefits of gratitude if you need that more tangible information, it's out there. And I, like I said, I have dropped a PDF down below that you guys can have for completely free to help you get started on finding gratitude every single day for the next seven days and see how this can work for you wherever you are whether you are depressed and sad and lonely and hopeless or whether you're on top of the world and feeling amazing gratitude works on the whole scale for everyone coming into life with a grateful heart and every single day working from that space will allow you to cultivate the vision that you have for your life, the journey that you want to be on, and the person that you want to become. But it starts within with what you're telling yourself every single day. And I have so many more videos on this that I want to create for you guys. If you liked this video, give it a like so that I know it's content that you want to see more of. And write a comment down below if you have done gratitude journaling or what your thoughts are on gratitude journaling, what your experience has been. The more examples that we can provide to one another as a community, the more it'll set in stone how real this is, how real gratitude can be as a tool to change your life. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video wherever you are in the world, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening. I'm sending you so much love and so much gratitude for you being the person that you are and being where you are right now and wanting to make a change and a shift in your life. Love you guys and I will talk to you next time.